What's up guys, I'm KBHD here. Welcome back to January. So last year we did this thing where I, I did a Q&A video every month. One video every month, that's 12 Q&As during the year. And we kind of got into a rhythm and I feel like it was a good idea. We introduced a couple different concepts and overall I enjoyed it. So we're doing it again this year for 2018. I'm getting the year right this time. Uh, so I already asked you guys on Twitter what you guys wanted to know. So without any further ado, let's let's get into it. We got a special guest, Tesla Model 3. Oh, and Austin, oh. And Austin Evans here. Uh, so uh, we'll just go ahead and tag team this one. Let the car answer the questions. Let's get started. <laughs> What's a trend you do not want to see in tech in 2018? Don't want to see. The Don't. easy answer that I think a lot of people would give is headphone jacks going away. Stop. Uh, yeah, but I feel like it's already over. I feel yeah. like headphone jacks pretty much dead at this point. That battle has been lost. I think uh, a lot of people don't like to hear that, but we still need to see wireless technology get better. I talked about that in my last video. Oh yeah, the AirPod video, that was great. Yeah, so I, I don't know, I, I kind of just, I like the way a lot of things are going right now. Now Daniel wants to know, same question, but the opposite. <laughs> What's a trend that you do want to see in 2018? I feel like I want to see smartphones continue to get better, and more importantly, cheaper. I yeah. think that we're getting to a point where $100 can get you a surprisingly decent phone, especially when you get to like two or 300 bucks. I mean, the gap between a budget phone and a smart, uh, like a flagship is shrinking every year, and I like to see that. That's a legit trend this year. We have an abundance of less expensive phones. Oh my God, another Model 3, that's crazy. It's like the one place on earth where Model 3s are just You everywhere. would never expect that. Uh, I'd like to see a better usage of dual cameras. Maybe uh, play with focal lengths a little more. Yeah, I feel like right now, most of the time a dual camera is like, oh, it's monochrome, or it's like, oh, it's gonna give you like some death data. But like you said, the Pixel kind of does a lot of that stuff better already. So it's like, what's the point of adding a second camera? Unless is doing something meaningfully different. I, I don't know who I'm quoting, but I know at one point a YouTuber has told me, I don't think anyone knows what the hell they're doing with dual cameras. That sounds like a quote, I, I can believe that. Not normal tech related, and this is true. If you could replace any body part with a cybernetic replacement, what would you choose and why? I feel like this guy's fishing for a very specific answer. Oh yeah, no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Do you know where we are? <laughs> What's your highest kill count in PUBG? I don't really play PUBG, so like one. Yeah, I think my answer is the same. One. Really? The second time I played, I'd survived down to like top 45, top 43. Okay, respectable. And I found someone that I went to go shoot, and I had a gun that I knew nothing about, and I just pointed and squeezed a bunch of times, but it had this recoil thing going on. Oh, yeah. So every time you shoot, your aim just goes further and further up, but I didn't let it go back down. So you're just like, So I, I aimed, squeezed, and ended up firing a lot of bullets into the sky. And, and I, he's just like, what's this idiot doing? Pow. Yeah, I died pretty quick there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great story. Yeah. What, uh, what health tracking apps are you using? I'm not really using many apps for that. What I try to do, and I'm not even wearing it, but I try to close all the rings on my Apple Watch every single day, which I lowered my goals to make sure that happens. I was gonna sure say, what's happens. your goal? I don't even know. It's like half of what it was supposed to be, but I do it. If you wanna answer, feel free to go through the tweets, dig okay. through and find any good ones. I have another one with a weird rumor that came up. What are your thoughts on the rumors about iPhone 10 being discontinued? I heard oh. rumors and I don't, I don't trust it. I don't, I'll believe it when I see it, but there's a rumor that iPhone 10 as a series has come and gone and it's not gonna be a thing well, anymore. We'll go back to nine. When they say that, they mean like, you know, at the end of like, you know, September or whatever, when they bring out the iPhone 11 or whatever the next one will be, they would just completely discontinue the 10. Right. Well, that makes sense to some degree because they pretty much always take the flagship phone and they bump it down in price. But right. they would have to bump the 10 down a lot in price, so I can see them just basically clearing them out, putting the 11 and then doing some like lower cost version. Because it's hard to imagine this phone being like 500 bucks. I'll be honest, I read the headlines and I didn't consider any logistical possibility of that happening. So I'll read into them more, but that's something new that's on my radar. So we'll see. All right, I've got a good one. Okay. Should Apple bring back the 17-inch MacBook Pro? If they do, do you think they'd stick with AMD graphics or Nvidia, something like a Max Q1070? Uh, just the general question, I would love to see another 17-inch MacBook Pro. Yeah. I do a lot of mobile video editing, times like this when we're out here in LA, times like CES, times like Mobile World Congress in a month, uh, where I'm bringing a lot of heavy footage and mm -hmm. it chokes 
my MacBook Pro every time. Do you think you would see a significant performance increase with the 17? Because I'm thinking of like laptop processors, and I mean, the 15 inch already has about as good as it gets on the laptop side, unless you go crazy with like a desktop, which is gonna like eat through the battery. Do you think yeah. it would be legitimately faster, or do you think it's more just like on the, on the graphics side or something? I do think the GPU is what you'd get the most out of having that extra space with. Yeah. The battery could be a bit bigger, uh, but thermally, you can just do more with the GPU with more space. That's pretty clear. So, yeah. and Apple would never do this, but I would love to see them unashamedly just make a thick, <laughs> just video editing, it's space like a gray, 2003 Dell MacBook thickness. Pro. It's never going to happen, but I would love to see that. Okay, this is one I don't think you're going to be able to answer, but I'm going to try it anyway. What do you think of Black Mirror? Have you ever watched the Netflix original series now? Black Mirror. I have never watched Black Mirror. I have a Netflix account, and it has probably logged three total hours in its existence. <laughs> and wow, people don't believe me when I say that, but I watch a strange. lot of YouTube, yeah. So I'm aware of the concept, and I understand when people reference Black Mirror, which is weird, but I've never watched it. I would actually say that you would probably enjoy Black Mirror. Yeah. I would, I would venture a guess that it's a very futuristic show. It's about how technology is gonna ruin everyone's lives. Oh. Very entertaining. All right. Who do you think will be first? Samsung, Apple, Google, etc., to implement the on-screen fingerprint sensor? Okay, so I guess the, the first of the big, the big dogs, the yeah. big mainstream phone makers. I would, okay, so I would expect Samsung. Samsung tends to be the first. They were, you know, they, they push the boundaries with things like the iris scanner. Yeah. They try new stuff. So yeah, Samsung I think would be my you guess. You think like the Note like 9 or something? Note 9, Note 10. I mean, Galaxy S9 is coming out and I think that's a little early to see it. Yeah, but I think so. That would be interesting. What are the key iPhone and Mac apps that you rely on and how has that changed over the last 12 months? Oh, for sure. One that, I, that comes recently to mind, Twitter for Mac. Trash. Oh, okay. I was like, where are you trash. going with this? <laughs> I've used, but I use it for years. I now use Tweetbot yep. on all my iOS and, and Macs, but I, I couldn't, like, if you've ever tried to use Tweetbot for Mac for more than five minutes. You mean Twitter for Mac? Twitter for Mac. Yeah. It slows to a crash. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. Be Tweetbot's in the great. Comment section. Tweetbot is awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have a pretty steady workflow across my, it's a Final Cut editing suite. It's, uh, yeah. it's Spotify for music, yep. it's Safari. Yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much my exact setup. I think Photoshop is thrown in there sometimes, but for the most part, yeah, it's pretty much Final Cut, Twitter, Safari, Chrome, Spotify, like that's kind of the, yeah, the, the core, setup. The core suite. Yeah, not a lot's changed for me lately. This is one you may or may not want to answer. Okay. Do you have a Tesla referral code? Juan Marquez, I would love to buy a Tesla. Would you ever have a referral code so I could, do you get anything for that or no? I do, so funny story. I do have a Tesla referral code. I've never really shared it. I have a couple friends who have bought a car and so they wanted to have a referral code. And when you use a referral code to buy a Tesla, you get free supercharging on your oh. car for life. So okay. it is worth something. I'll put it in the description. I don't usually share it, but what you do get out of that as a referrer is uh, every new referral for me in the tier I'm in right now is 2% off my final payment on the Roadster. Oh, so basically if enough people Click the link in the description and sign up with your referral code. You're going to get a lot of money off your Roadster? It's not going to happen, but What's yes. What's 2% off a Roadster? That's a lot of money. If you do the math, it's worth it. But yeah, like <laughs> 2%. So yeah, up to literally 100% off. I think Ooh. I think one Tesla-based YouTuber, I'll confirm with him, but he has already earned a free Roadster, which That's is crazy. incredible. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, you know what? It's Good out question. there. It's out Good there. Good question. <laughs> Someone says, what are your thoughts on the new Hasselblad? I tweeted it earlier. There's a new Hasselblad H6D. I'm going to get this wrong. H6D 400C, MC. It's a long <laughs> name, but essentially it's a 100 megapixel sensor that's using a, a multi-shot, so I think that's MS, uh, that's taking 400 megapixel stills at this point. So normal stills are 100 megapixels, yeah. and then you take multiple shots to combine them it's into a It's combining larger. them all with like a one pixel difference shifting in each direction. It's an insane technology, but if I'm printing billboards, that's something I'm into, but I'm not, so. <laughs> I'll stick with, uh, stick with the camera I use now. Stick a normal Hasselblad. Yeah, just the, you know, X1D is cool. No big deal. I think you may have answered this one before. Um, if you didn't have YouTube, where do you think you would be right now? Yeah, I never know. I never know the answer. It's, I'll it's toss hard... that back at you, because I, I literally like have been making videos for such a long part of my life yeah. that, I mean, I, I assume I would do something related to my major in college, which was business, but I think no we're in the same boat there because I think we started when we were like, what, 15, 16, something like Very that? Very long time. So I think for me, I would probably be working at Best Buy. That was my backup plan. If YouTube didn't work, I'm like, okay, I can just go get a job at Best Buy and I'll have this awesome resume of some cool tech videos on YouTube. Yeah. But it's it's hard to imagine doing something else at this point. It yeah. really is. It's weird to think about. What? No, oh, this is, I think you'll definitely have a good answer for this one. What's your favorite music album? 
Can I take a guess? Y you probably, I know what your guess is already. Do you really? Your guess is Ram by Daft Yes, Bob. it was, yes it was. And that is definitely a top three, but oh, like, there's three. some albums I like to listen to in their completion. Okay. Uh, that have a lot of replay values, so uh, I'll Can't just name, three? I'll just, uh, I already know The Incredible True Story by Logic. Number I don't one. necessarily listen to individual songs on that album as I much as I just thing. listen to the whole thing. Yeah. What about you? Favorite album? Uh, Incredible True Story. Oh, okay, that's yeah. fair. No, that's, that's an easy one. And I think Ram is probably like in my top five, but Incredible True Story I've listened to so many times. Like every year when I go to my Spotify year in a wine, it's like, <laughs> like Fade Away is like, like number one. But you know like, what's weird though? Okay, so, and I, I didn't even remember this, but when I go back in that Spotify year and rewind, for the past two at least, maybe three years, my number one artist is always Kanye. And I didn't realize oh. how many years of Kanye albums I've listened to from like college dropout to graduation yeah. that whole time. It's not really that much new Kanye, but there's a lot. So I'll throw, I'll toss graduation in there for I can get behind that actually. Albums. There's a lot of Kanye that I think would be on like my top 10. Yeah. When was the last time a tech item blew your mind. Blew my mind? Like actually blew your mind. My answer is in the frame right now. Yeah? Autopilot. Not necessarily okay. like the actual car, but uh, there is something weird about when you're driving, being mm -hmm. able to actually take your hands off the wheel and actually do something else. Yeah. And I, I was messing with my parents in this, picked them up from the airport oh, no. during a holiday. And I, my sister was in on it, but she's like, hey, can you grab something from the back seat? And uh, I'm an autopilot. I just kind of casually reach back, <laughs> and the car, and they're in the back seat. Like, what is he doing? Hilarious. I, I'm definitely gonna do some more, uh, some more Tesla videos, and you'll see Model Three video coming very soon. Forgot to hold, mention that whole thing, but that's coming, coming pretty quick. So, uh, autopilot's on my list. What do you got? You know. What? I can't think of a better answer than that. I was probably gonna say something dumb, but like, honestly, autopilot, you're right. It's like such a crazy sort of feature because you think, how much time do you spend driving? And it's just like, you hit a button, and you're just like, oh yeah, the car's just gonna do this for me. It's great. This so. car, the fact that this car is built on autonomous ride sharing should say something about the way car tech is going in the future. So yeah. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for participating in my Q&A. Hopefully you guys enjoy the questions and the answers. I thought they were pretty solid. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, of course, for the Tesla video and for many more things to come. The Q&A is every month. That's over on Twitter, if you're not already following. Follow this guy. He makes YouTube videos also. And he makes, he makes tweets sometimes. Sometimes, very So you wanna read those. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.